Hey everyone, it's Apostle Michelle Peterson and today I have a really special message that the Lord actually just gave it to me. It's something that He wants uh, the people to know about Him. And so I just wrote everything down He just gave it to me. So I'm just going to share it with you really, really quick. Um, what it is about is coming to God. Uh, he wants us to know how to come to Him. This is what He said. He said, I want them to know how to come to me. And he gave me three three things, basically, um, that we have to do in order to come to him. You know, there there is a way, there is an order uh, that we come before the Lord. And so the first thing that he actually said, uh, this one is really, really powerful. He said, they have to believe me. They have to believe me. And, um, and, and then what he was saying after that, he said to me, he said, he wants us to to believe he exists he wants us to believe that he exists he said the people don't believe in me they don't believe I exist it hurts my heart because I want the people to believe that I exist so he was saying that um, it hurts his heart because people don't even believe that he exists and I used to be uh, in that category before I became a Christian I used to be an atheist um, I remember the enemy actually told me that there was no God and I do honestly believe that that is a plan uh, of the enemy to uh, to uh, make us believe that God doesn't exist even being a Christian you know we can um, get to the place that we're in situations and we're like God where are you are you there you know and then we get into uh, a mindset that uh, he doesn't exist or he's not with us 24 hours a day. He's not there and we, we kind of get into this mindset that um, Maybe God isn't real, you know, when we're not seeing things. We're not seeing prayers answered The enemy will say little things like that, you know, God's not real, you know That's why you know whatever's going on um, but whenever we actually come before God and we really don't believe that he exists or we don't really believe in him um you know it hurts his heart uh for us to not believe that uh believe that he doesn't exist and so in hebrews 11 and i was just going through the different scriptures i'll read some of the, some of them to you guys but in hebrews 11 6 it says but without faith it is impossible to please him meaning god for he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. This one right here is really, really powerful because it's saying basically the same thing that the Lord wants to uh, share with us today is how to come to him. Um, he's saying here that we must believe that he is, that he exists uh, in order to come to him. And then I, I, I looked up the definition. What does the definition, what does exist mean in our definition? It means to continue to be or live, to have life to live, to have actual being to be. And you know, uh, we sing the, the songs about he lives, he lives, he lives. You know, that the Lord Jesus actually is alive. Our God is alive. The living God, you know, we serve the living God. He is alive. That He exists. And um, uh, for the Lord to say here that um, people, He said, people don't believe in me. They don't believe I exist. And... Um, and a lot of times, you know, we're natural beings and, and we're looking around and we don't see God um, in the natural realm. And, um, you know, we're going by our lives, about our lives and stuff. And so um, a lot of times we can get into this place where we don't actually believe God is there, but he is. And he said, this hurts his heart. So this really, really touched me when I was, um, and he said this to me because I mean, it took me some time to get out of the place that I was just like thinking and thinking, <laughs> um, you know, about what he said. But here are some scriptures. I was just uh, doing a little bit of studying about um, 
just how God, you know, feels about just going through the Bible and uh, issues with um, just people believing in him. In Numbers 14, 11, I was reading, it says, And the Lord said unto Moses, How long will this people provoke me? And how long will it be ere they believe me? For all the signs which I have showed unto them. And so what he's saying now, like, um, how long will they not believe me, not believe in him? After all the signs and wonders and everything that he's done, you know, the people, the children of Israel still didn't believe in him. Still didn't believe in him. He was doing all these miracles and all of these things and, and they still didn't believe in him. They still didn't trust him. And it hurt him. It hurt him. But if you, um, right after that, that's when, you know, everything when they wasn't able to go into the, the promised land because of this. And then also in uh, Numbers 20, 12, the Lord is saying here also, And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron, Because ye believe me not, to sanctify me in the eyes of the children of Israel, therefore ye shall not bring this generation into the land which I have given them. So even Moses and Aaron got into the place where they didn't even believe God, um, you know, for whatever time period they um, didn't believe him. But this is what he's saying to them also. Throughout the Bible, even um, uh, in Psalms, Psalms 78, 22, here is saying here, because they believed not in God and trusted not in his salvation. Um... And then Psalm 78, 32, it says, For all this they sinned still and believed not for his wondrous works. Um, it, it's so many scriptures in the Bible. It talks about us not believing in God, you know, and, and you know, and, and how that hurts God and, and um, you know, and how important that is to him is to believe in him, believe that he exists and to trust him. Okay. So he wants us to believe that he exists. Um, and one of the things that I, I wanted to share when the Lord was telling me this, like what it makes me think about, I don't know if you guys saw um, uh, Gabrielle Douglas, her movie, uh, how she actually came up. But there's a part in her movie, she had her fir first coach. And her first coach, like he just, you know, she can. She wanted to try all these hard things, but he just wouldn't basically let her do anything. And he didn't believe in her. He didn't believe in her. He didn't believe that she can do what she did, I guess. But when she got the coach, uh, Lin, Ling Chow, when she got her new coach, um, one of the things that she said to him when she went there, and, and you know, she was saying she's willing to do whatever it takes. She's willing to do whatever it takes. But she said to him, she said, I just need you to believe in me. I just need you to believe in me. And it was so powerful because, you know, just having someone to believe in you, um, that's that's something that, you know, is, is powerful because we want someone to believe in us. And God does too. He wants us, you know, his creation to believe that he exists. He created us. Now, how hurtful is that to to believe, not even believe in the person who created you? And but um, it's it's really important for us to have uh, someone to believe in us, and God wants us to believe that He exists. Okay, so the next thing when it comes to coming to God, the next thing that we have to do, the Lord said here, you have to honor me. And I have a I have a, a message a teaching that I'm going to link right here uh, about honoring God, and you can check that out um, about honoring God. But that's really important to Him, uh, honoring Him, and you know um, we have to be able to honor Him to come into His presence to come to Him. You know that's really important. So you can check out that video. And so the next one that the Lord says coming to Him, He wants people to know how to come to Him so that they can come to Him right. And um, the next thing he says, you have to love me. You have to love me. And he said, we have to love him. We have to love him to come to him. Um, you know, of course, this, I feel like this is pretty easy for us to do because, you know, um, 
what the Lord said here, the way we love him is he said, you allow me to be a part of your day. And um, every time he says this, allow him, it really touches my heart because we have to allow God to be a part of our day. Um, he doesn't force it, um, but he wants us to allow him. And so here he said, you ha you, we have to allow him to be a part of our day. That's how we show him we love him. Um, just simply by inviting him into our day to be a part of everything that we have to do. Just him being with us, you know, allowing him to be with us and to be a part of it. Remembering that he's there, acknowledging him um, that he's there. And, um, you know, so that's something really really uh, simple that you can do every day just invite the Lord to be a part of the things that you have to do during the day and for him to walk with you and be with you that whole day so I wanted to share these uh, three things with you that the Lord said because this is something that he said to me a while back he said that he wants the people to know how to come to him so I wanted to get these uh, uh, instructions from him today and share it with you guys so you'll know exactly how to come to God so I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you in the next teaching. God bless.